you all have heard about a lot of alternative <laughs> options that are currently available. I'm going to talk about something that's not available. Um, again, my work is a modest proposal for um, post-mortem options, um, which are which which challenge some of these cultural beliefs and attitudes. Um, it's the Infinity Burial Project, and the project uh, started with the idea of creating a hybrid mushroom. So this would be a new mushroom um, which would perform three functions. One is to remediate. One is to facilitate decomposition in the body. Another is to remediate the toxins that are um, accumulated in the body. And then um, another would be another function would be to deliver nutrients from the decomposing body to plants. Um, there are mushrooms that do each of those functions separately. There's no mushroom currently that does that performs all three. And so. This mushroom for me was this kind of symbol of a new way of thinking about the body and this relationship between um, human action and the body and the environment. Um, so, um, is that working? Can you see that? This is an animated slide, but it's not quite animating. So. Um, so subsequently, I've uh, been taking a lot of classes and learning about mycology. I took a workshop with the famous mycologist Paul Stamets, who is known for his work in mycoremediation, which is using mushrooms to clean toxins in soil. And um, in that process of learning my, about mycology and, and, and becoming a little bit trained in some of the laboratory techniques, I realized that creating a hybrid mushroom is going to be impossible, or near impossible. I don't know very much about genetics. Um, and so I sort of shifted the idea to, to train an existing um, edible mushroom, something that's widely available, to, uh, to decompose bodies, to utilize um, and to, to work with human tissue. And so I built this sort of temporary mobile um, mushroom lab that's been to Germany and back and will be in LA next year. And um, basically, so in this lab, I'm training um, an existing mushroom to uh, digest human tissue. And the mushroom that I'm working with um, is a mushroom, well, I'm working with two mushrooms, and they're both known um, toxin remediators, and they remediate different toxins. Um, so, you know, I'm collecting my hair, I'm collecting skin and nails and other, you know, um, body tissue. So. And, and then growing mushrooms on this tissue. So um, that's, that's the mushroom is in process. And so that when it's completed, it'll be a part of this, this kit, this decompoculture kit. Um, and you know, the kit would include sort of different biological elements and different chemicals that are non-toxic that would aid in this kind of facility, in this um, decomposition process. And so there's, um, one is there's a chemical scent called the corpse scent, which um, police people use to find um, corpses. They, train, they use it to train dogs to find corpses, um, and that would attract insects to um, the corpse. And then the mushroom and then the bacteria and you know, um, acid to help break down the bones. And so this kit would be housed in, in sort of these capsules and in individual capsules and then sort of the, the congregation of these capsules uh, creates this kind of cocktail of, of different elements that would help decompose and remediate toxins in the body. Um, and then another part of the project is the society that, um, of, of people who are interested in learning about and becoming more um, aware of death and accepting of death. And a part of that, um, I'm proposing that, you know, a part of that process is learning to, to uh, cultivate decomposing organisms like the mushroom. So um, the, the actual, the first uh, iteration of the project was um, a burial suit that's made of organic cotton and it's been embroidered with thread that's been infused with mushroom spores. Um, so and the, the suit is accompanied by an, an, an embalming fluid that's not quite an embalming fluid. It would be uh, like a mushroom spore slurry. And so then you have you know, the mushrooms growing on the inside of the body and the mushrooms sort of on the outside of the body as part of the suit. And mushrooms are self-seeking, so they grow towards each other. And so they would 
grow towards each other and um, you know, decompose tissue and remediate toxins. So that's the idea. Um, and the, the dendritic pattern resembles the way, the dendritic pattern of the suit resembles how mushrooms grow in nature. So you can see on this, on this tree that the, the kind of pattern. Um, and the suit really for me was a way of kind of catalyzing some of the ideas of the project and it um, also really allows me to, it allowed me to kind of project some ideas and some future possibilities for the suit. So one idea was to use this suit in space um, because mushrooms are sort of ideally suited for space travel, right? They don't need light, um, they don't need a lot of moisture, they, um, and they sort of, they consume some of the biofilm that accumulates in space, you know, from our sweat and that kind of stuff. So um, that's kind of a, this kind of future projection of the suit and what it could be. It was in a fashion show at the Museum of Science um, a couple years ago, and the, the mushroom and this sort of decomposition kit could in the future be incorporated into things like makeup, you know, because I went to this um, makeup workshop at the funeral uh, director's convention. It was, you know, of course, it's all about creating this memory picture, right, of making someone look alive when, they're, when we know that they're dead, and it's, it's kind of, it really encapsulates a lot of the, the, the death denial that's in our culture, and for me, this makeup would, you know, facilitate decomposition. You know, it would look pretty for maybe a day, and then it would help um, speed up the decomposition process. Um, so that's it. So my project is in process at the moment, um, and this workshop is sort of a, a part of the, of trying to get um, people to talk about and become more aware of death. So, do you take a couple of questions. Um, I, it's open, you know, obviously if you bury a body with a suit at sea, it's not going to grow mushrooms, but if you bury it in the soil or if you leave it on top of the soil, then that would help facilitate, but the, you know, it's sort of open-ended. Would you take the mushrooms? This is really interesting, I mean, I couldn't figure this out when you, read, when you sent it to me by email. <laughs> Are the mushrooms that accelerated to promote decomposition that with the whole mushroom suit is about and the, exactly. the makeup that becomes a laser wash that does its job after the weight's mm -hmm. over type of thing? Exactly, yeah. Then what do you do with the mushrooms? They just become a part of nature or are you not trying to go harvest the mushrooms or anything, right? Um, well, the mushroom, it depends on the mushroom, but some mushrooms break down toxins and some mushrooms just absorb toxins. So if you have a heavy metal, obviously it can't be broken down. It's just absorbed by the mushroom and so that's something that you wouldn't want to eat. And so then the mushroom gets reabsorbed, or if you pick it, then it's isolated, right? The toxin is just isolated. So the mushroom is under, under dirt? Well, the mycelium is under dirt. That's sort of the roots of the mushroom. Yeah, where's the body go with the mushroom suit? In six feet? It can. She, she hasn't totally figured that out. Yeah, if you're anticipating okay. that when you said edible mushrooms, that this is going to come through the spoon. Well, I'm using edible if, mushrooms if, if, because if it's, they're... If, if it's not, um, if they're not the toxins, the ones that absorb too much toxins, but if they're the ones that just help the decomposition, they could be then mushroom farm for food. Soil and green. Mm. <laughs> Actually, I had a question about the photo that came on the flyer, where you're lying uh, exposed. You're, in, you're on the soil, but you're exposed. Uh, I don't know what you meant by that, but you know that you have to bury I think it's at least four feet deep, otherwise animals uh, get at the body and we don't want that. That image uh, was to I show the process that. that it would that one would be buried with mushroom mycelia. And so if I put dirt on top of me then you wouldn't be able to see that. So that was just purely for illustrative purposes. Okay. Yeah. Why do you use a mushroom? Why not a pig? Well mushrooms are um, they're kind of known to be the sort of the master decomposers, right? They break down the, the lignin in trees. Is the pig supposed to be the closest to a human body? Isn't the pig supposed to be the closest animal to a human body? Right, but the pig
pigs don't consume human tissue. Is, are you suggesting that I use pigs instead of mushrooms? Yeah. To give you a better, to give you a better idea of the human body. Oh, no, stu it's a study, Paul. Yeah. You, not, not, you don't have the pigs. pigs aren't eating the people. You're going to get the mushrooms into the pig. <laughs> That's what he's talking about. Yeah. 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 Yeah.